Okay, guys. I'm coming back finally with another video. So this video is going to be all about Lawbreakers. And this Tuesday, or no, this past Tuesday, Lawbreakers' first patch, patch 1.1, went live. And with it, a very, very, very interesting changes, to be honest. We're going to start out first with a quality of life change, which was the fact that now you can open stash boxes while waiting in matchmaking lobbies in queue. So, I mean, yeah, that's your quality of life thing right there. But the real meat and potatoes is going to be from the gunslinger, the harrier, and the wraith. So, for the gunslinger, you now have momentum every time you warp. And the new mechanic is that you're a mega. If you get a headshot with your mega gun, you will now regain a warp. And that, that is pretty cool. Oh, I'm really loving that. But alongside those changes, there are some nerfs in that you can now no longer one-shot tack knife people. Oh my gosh. That was like a skill thing. That, was, that wasn't easy to do to begin with. But now, I mean, you'll basically put them at one-shot. They just lower the damage multiplier from 1.5 to 1.25. So basically... You land that headshot, and it's basically they're either dead or they're one shot. So I mean, there's that, and also, this way, this uh, this caught my attention a little. Omega, the gun for the gunslinger, they decrease the mats damage from 160 to 150. So I haven't noticed a big difference with this. I'm actually kind of think of it when i'm playing gunslinger i'm using alpha a little more than i used to i think that's a that's a big thing i've been ending usually with alpha instead of omega because usually it's like just burst it's like usually you know how the combo is alpha mega alpha mega alpha mega alpha but now it's usually doing the alpha mega alpha mega but then going alpha alpha seems to be a lot a lot easier and faster than just going to just doing the same thing about for Omega until they're dead. So uh, that's a small thing I noticed. Another thing that really that's the only thing that's going to change is positioning. Basically, is Harrier's old ability now went down from 500 DPS to 400 DPS, giving if you're hitting someone with a convergence. And they're at full health. They have one more second to live. In this game, one second can definitely mean the difference between life and death. So basically, Harrier, I mean, no one really, I haven't seen a lot of people just like run in there and just, just use her convergence and just say, I'm going to melt all of you down. So I haven't really seen that. It's mainly nothing really major change in there just gonna take a little longer like a fraction of the second longer that's it's only a full second if you're going after someone who literally has not been touched by anyone and if you're going after people that haven't been touched by anyone you're not playing harrier right that's just cold cut and dry another interesting change is for the wraith class now there is precision damage where the wraith Aiming for the head will now give you precision damage, but it's just as hard as aiming with Assassin's Blades, which is pretty odd, but the damage is 125, which will basically one-shot the Assassin or two-shot the Wraith. It's, it's really powerful, but here's a caveat here. If you're not aiming at the head with the Wasp, which is yeah the all fire the knife you yeah, we all know that it's been reduced from 125 to 75 that is like three hits minimal to kill someone and that is like that ooh i think that's like the squishiest target to kill someone would be three hits going up against the assassin oh my gosh is it that the Wraith was hit hard. So, I mean, 
Oof. It's going to be a little harder to play Rafe, but I mean, I guess you're going to have to really stay on your, yeah, you really got to keep your reticle on the enemy when you're sliding in there for your little slide melee combo. You know how it is. So, I mean, basically that's it for the patch. It's really, it's not super big, but I mean, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, definitely welcome changes. Especially when it comes to the gunslinger, heavier, kind of minute. Rafe is actually gonna take a little time to get used to, but other than that, this stuff is a. Uh, it's pretty nice. It was a great patch, and as always, I'm Freezer Blade, and I'll be signing off.